Maybe that's how big his dick is. He wanted to show it off. All right, dirtbag. Well, did the ghoul have it? He did. Give bat. Here it is. Thank you. You know, I'm still not sure how some random sewer ghoul got a hold of it. Bet ghoul. Now what? Now what? Now we finally end this. I've got one last story to tell you. But you've got one last job to do first. I need 18 fission batteries. What job? Inside my tent, there's a footlocker. It's where I've been putting the weapons when you gave them to me. Am I gonna burn them? This key will open it. There's a shovel leaning against one of the walls, too. It's a lucky shovel. I want you to take those weapons and bury them with their rightful owners. Then we'll talk one more time. Hmm. And I'll want to talk to Axel as well. But this first. Oh, wait. Receive the... Re retrieve, not receive. Do I have to put them in the correct order? Because I, I, I was not paying attention. I mean, I was, but... Billy's grave. Alright. Billy had... Shit. Oh, fuck. Bushes. Bushes beans. Bushes... Barry Bushes grenade. No. Berry bushes grenade. Right. We're just just keep shoving everything in there until you know one of them's got to work. You know, just fuck. You know what? Fuck you. Put him. Put everything in there. Just put it in there. Should have been fucking paying attention. No, it's supposed to be all right. You, I I I understand. It's supposed to be one bean grenade. You know. A, a, a man loves teddy bears. They don't build them with 1,800 teddy bears. Okay, may, maybe not. Did I use his grenade? Alright, I went in the geck. I tried to figure out how the grave works. Um, I could only find a script that dealt with the shovel. If you didn't have a shovel, you know what? No, because we do have the sh Wait, let me check something out. Did I take the wrong shovel? What did he want? He told me to take the shovel to dig up the graves. Look, I'm just gonna take everything. Can I just take everything? Just in case. I'm taking all this. All of this is mine. Yeah, you're gonna have to poop in a bucket outside now. I don't care. Everything is everything you own is mine now. Axeman will rip you apart if you don't think so. All right. So I'm gonna make a dog steak. It's great, always a plus. Some dog steak in the morning. All right. Well, hopefully, I I just did. I skipped ahead. So hopefully that doesn't goof anything up. I'm sorry, Jiro. I did uh, set stage and I went to the next stage. So we are burying. What are we burying? Stan's shovel. Say Stan's shovel. Did I not? Oh wait, here it is. Face basher. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, cool. Wayne's bat. Unless I'm, you know what, I, it's probably here, I'm just probably missing it somehow. Although I did put everything in there. A man that. Okay. Bob's rake. Wait, is it the bean shooter? We'll find, we'll find out. Oh, uh, the rake. Rake, 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 rake. Mayor's like power fish shovel. Yes. Bailey's fist. All right, so it it's gotta be. Okay, it was one. It was just one. All right. That's why. 
And now I, I gun done goofed it up because you're only supposed to put in one. But I, I made a bunch. Uh, right, wrong. Return to Cincinnati. The city famous for their hot dogs. I don't know if that's true. I'm just making this stuff up. Man, I got a lot of crap. Does anyone want a dress cane? Anyone who wants a dress cane can pick it up. Oh, wait, it's empty? Oh, they ate it. Oh, it's gone because... Oh, he gave... Yeah, Heinz is alive. All right, well, that happened because I goofed it up. A job well done, courier. I'll tell you that last story now, if you want. Why exactly Santa Claus is the size he is? The one about why you left the Legion? Sure, I'll hear it. I want this to be... Oh, sure. All right, then. I guess I should start with what I was told when I joined the Legion. What everyone is told when they join. It's gonna be great. Our leader is the great Gaius Julius Caesar, founder and dictator for life of the Legion. Of course, that's all a bunch of horseshit. We were told stories of all of Caesar's conquests. How he crossed the Rubicon and sacked Rome. How he defeated Ptolemy in Egypt. How he conquered Gaul and Albion. Everyone in the Legion but Graham and Sallow himself believes all of it. I'm sure there's one other guy. And while it may be true that a guy named Caesar did all of that, he isn't the guy we were following. The real Caesar's been dead for two millennia. That's 800 years, everyone. But just like the rest of the idiots in the Legion, I believed every word that came out of Sallow's mouth. Until I infiltrated the road fuckers. Billy and Bob were both fairly highly educated, and they both knew about the real Rome and the real Caesar. They used to make jokes about how dumb the Legionnaires must be to believe Caesar was who he said he was. I ignored it at the time. Thinking that they were trying to egg me on and prove I was a spy. But after the mission was over, I got to thinking. You see, I was starting to get disillusioned with the Legion. Those six months I had spent with Billy and the Roadfuckers were some of the happiest I'd ever had. Aww. And Joshua Graham was the greatest leader I'd ever served under. And they were all dead because Kaisar wanted them dead. I started thinking that maybe I was on the wrong side. And what made it worse was the thought that Kaisar had been lying about who he was all along. Following a man like the historical Kaisar as he tries to re-civilize the wastes is one thing, but what if Billy and Bob were telling the truth? What if the man we were following was just some thug, or worse, some crazy raider who was using a lie to get us to do his dirty work for him? I had, I guess, what you'd call a crisis of faith. I'm not a religious person, and I guess even if I was... As a member of the Legion, I'd be praying to Jupiter instead of Jesus. Jesus does have a machine gun. But none of that stopped me from stopping in at a Mormon camp I came across on the way back to the fort. Hey, is Jesus here? The elder of the camp, a man named Willard, Jesus. offered to let me stay the night. I told him who I worked for and asked if that changed anything. The old man just laughed and said that if God could forgive and welcome anyone... So could he. That really surprised me. But it didn't surprise me anywhere near as much as what he said next. Pull down your pants. What did he say? He asked me if I knew Joshua Graham and Edward Salo and how they were doing. After standing there with my mouth hanging open for a few minutes, I told him that Graham was dead. That he had been executed for his failure at Boulder. I also told him I had never heard of anyone named Sallow. He was surprised at first to hear Graham was dead. Apparently, most of the people outside of the Legion just knew him by his title, Malpeace Leggett. So Willard hadn't connected the man executed to Graham. He said, I can't believe Eddie's fallen so low as to kill his best friend. I asked him what he was talking about, and he told me about Graham and Sallow. He told me the truth behind the Legion. 
Edward Sallow was a member of the Followers of the Apocalypse. He and two other followers, along with Graham and another Mormon, had decided to head out east and try to help civilize the tribals there. The NCR had finally cleared out the last of the Enclave remnants, and their new president had started a very aggressive expansion campaign out into the desert. The followers and the Mormons alike were worried about how the NCR would treat the tribals they came across. They figured that if the tribals knew what was coming and were organized enough, they would have a better chance of either remaining freeholding groups like Vault City or at least joining the Republic peacefully. Obviously, things didn't go how the group planned. They ended up getting involved in the politics of a few of the tribes, and Sallow came up with the idea to use their superior knowledge of tactics and battle to help the tribe he liked the most defeat the other two. The other followers were appalled by the idea, and they and Graham's companion tried to talk Sallow out of it. When he refused to change his mind, they left. They returned west and told the rest of the followers and Mormons what happened. Eventually, another party was sent out, and what they found was that Sallow's tribe had conquered eight others by force and were worshipping him and Graham as the next best thing to gods. He had used his knowledge of ancient Rome to make them believe he was the great dictator Caesar, and that he'd been given the divine mission of uniting all the wasteland tribes under his banner. Graham went along with him, but from what I was able to find out, it was just so he could help the tribals. It's the reason he never took on a Latin name, and the reason he always seemed to argue with Sallow. He was looking out for us. When Sallow made a decision that would cost the Legion lives, or wanted to wipe out a tribe instead of absorbing it, Graham was always the voice of reason, and then Sallow killed him. He failed to take the dam, so Sallow just threw him away, the same he did with any other soldier that failed him. When I heard from Willard how close they were, it, it really shook me up. When I got back to the fort, I contacted my two best frumentari agents and asked them to dig up whatever they could on Sallow. I didn't tell them about him being Kaisar, of course. I wanted to be sure the information Willard gave me was true before I did anything else. My spies did their jobs, and the info they got me matched up perfect with Willard's. Unfortunately, though, Volpice and Kulta found out they were digging into Sallow's past and told him. I had been planning on deserting for a few weeks at that point, so I had everything ready to leave quickly. I had four Snickers bars. I made it out before the Praetorians came for me. My men weren't as lucky, though. Kaisar had them both killed. And to cover up the real reason, he claimed I was a spy for the NCR and had fully half of the Frumentari under my command executed along with the two that knew the truth about him. I covered my tracks and decided to go back to the Dry Canyon. I felt that I didn't deserve to live around anyone else, not after all I'd done. I found where we'd left the roadfuckers' bodies. I took their heads off the stakes they'd been put on and gave them each a proper burial. I found the area where the Crimson Caravan ran a trade route and set up camp. Over the following few months, I traded and bought the items I needed to make a more permanent home. I dug a well, planted a garden, and started collecting books about Rome. The real Rome, that is. Oh, I stole those, sorry. <laughs> In one of them, I read about a man named Cincinnatus. He was made dictator, just like the real Caesar. Only difference was when the crisis that got him appointed was over, Cincinnati stepped down. Caesar didn't step down when the Civil War was over. Instead, he named himself Dictator for Life and tried to dissolve the Senate so they couldn't oppose him. The senators responded by stabbing him to death. Old-fashioned shankin'. We can only hope the same thing happens to the new Caesar. Anyway, I liked the story of Cincinnati. I thought about going back to my tribal name, 
but it felt too much like I was trying to erase my past, so I took on Cincinnatus's name instead. And I believe with that, my story comes full circle. I found out Axel was still alive a few months back, and the RLF attacked me soon after. A week after that, I found the bunker. I kept an eye on it, and eventually, you and Axel showed up. And now, here we all are. One big happy family. So what happens now? A karate fight? Now I have something to say to Axel, and something to give him. And then, I guess we all part ways. Thank you, Courier, for all you've done. Sorry I stole your books. You're welcome. Here's something for your trouble. Also, I'm sure it will be okay with Axel if you want to dig those weapons back up. <laughs> Burying them was more of a symbolic act anyway. They should be used, and I think you're exactly the kind of person Billy would want using them. Oh. Fifty Legion Aurish. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get over there. Oh, shit. Come on. I will kill that lady. Come on. Come on. Where are you going? Hello, Axel. It's good to see you again. Do you know who I am? You're a dirty hobo. X-Man. Ah. No, Axel. I'm Jeff. Jeff, remember? From the road fuckers. Mm. X-Man remembers you. You were only pretending to be a friend. You were part of Kaiser's Romero. Mm. X-Man. Kaiser's Legion. And yes, I was. But I was also a road fucker, even if it was just for six months. I should gut you where you stand, you son of a bitch. But I can't. Why not? Hmm. Because some random person who gives X-Man food and pokes him with magic healing sticks said I can't. X-Man- I really hope you're talking about the courier. Why did they say you can't kill me, Axel? X-Man. Because reasons, and I agreed there were right reasons. I won't kill you for what you did, but I won't forgive you I don't either. expect you to forgive me, and honestly, I'd probably think less of you if you did. But I do want you to do one thing for me. What, X-Man? I'm not doing shit for you. X-Man! All I want you to do is accept a gift, Axel. Keep it. Throw it away. Fuck, light it on fire. I don't care. Just say you'll accept it. It's a beautiful dress. Accept it. I said no. I'm not doing any wa- Gift? As in, a present? I guess you could call it that. Axel, do you remember how Billy always joked that we should have a uniform? Oh, X-Man. You got me a unicorn? Don't walk away from X-Man. Uniform, Axel. Uniform. You know, clothes. But we should all wear the same ones. A uniform. Stop dancing. Oh, those. X-Man knows what those are. Billy said we should get some, but then he died. That's what I... Never mind. <laughs> yes. Billy liked to joke about getting uniforms. And when I found out you were still alive, I had this made. X-Man looks like a badass. This is amazing uniform, hobo man. Uniform. X-Man! Unitard. Mm. Unitard, X-Man. <sighs> Close enough. Just take care of it, okay? And take care of yourself, too, Axel. I will, evil hobo. Thank you. It's a great present. X-Man, I... I can't forgive you, but I guess I can call us... Even... But if I ever see you again, I'll fucking You've got a deal. murder you. It was good seeing you again, Axel. X-Man. Even under these circumstances. Like I said, take care of yourself. Look at you, sexy And babe. take care of your new friend, too. Goodbye, Axel. Are you going to kill yourself? Okay. Oh. Okay, I got nervous for a second. Hey, X-Man has a new coat. I look like a badass. Mmm, X-Man. I can see that. It looks nice. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe that evil hobo isn't such a bad guy after all. I'm confused. I think you're right. He wasn't such a bad guy. You did the right thing by sparing him, X-Man. You really think so? That makes X-Man makes me feel good. Thanks, buddy. Now let's go before I have to kill you for seeing me cry. X-Man. For helping X-Man learn to forgive and forget, he's given you the Axe of Kindness perk. Random Axe of Kindness. Whoa, baby, baby. Having faced his past and defeated his inner demons, X-Man has grown as a man. Him being with you causes... Uh, you'd gain plus 15 to melee and 3 to charisma. Oh, nice. Talk to me when you're done, not before. Already done. X-Man. X-Man is at your service. X-Man. X-Man is always ready for action. Uh, action. Let's get a look at the road fuckers. No rules, just rock. Ooh, road fuckers. It's beautiful. Very nice sewing. Oh, this is great. Jero. This is a fantastic story. I just want to say, fucking amazing. I love this. This is great. Thank you so much, Jero. This is fantastic. Thank you very much. I love this. I love that uniform. That's great. All right. Condor time. You thought we were done? You were road fucker wrong, everyone. The road fuckers are back. And I dropped all my weapons before, and this isn't Fallout so that they don't just come back to you. All right, everyone. We're following up on the second... Oh, my God, you sensual bitch. May God rest your baby bitch soul. There you go. Buried in a bush. Just like Jesus was. I think I might be getting my stories mixed up, but, well, hey. How many gnomes does it take for Christmas? What? Hey. Mysterious Cave. Hi, I'm Axeman. I like to bake cookies. Hi, I'm Axeman. I'm coming over your house. Hi, I'm Axeman. Axeman, look over there. Hi, I'm... Oh, no. Was that the, was that the spooky part, that there was a wall? Hey, they don't have pants on. Gecko cultist. Gecko cultist. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Shit, also again. Investigate the idol. It's just like my dick tattoo. Axe. Gecko idol. Oh, God! Oh, God! I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean to break it! I'm sorry! I have very brittle hands. Your God is false. Your God is false. Stop throwing shit at us! I guess you're the dumb one of the bunch. You got stuck behind a pole. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, fuck! Gecko Jesus! Gojira! It's Gojira! Bollams, it's Gojira! Run! Don't worry, everyone. I have the shit. No, none of my weapons are set up. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, Gajira. Open up. Eat that. Oh god, another one! Godzilla! Oh, and his, his cousin. Who's his cousin? Godzilla 2. Just give me a second. Axeman, you've grown as a person. Help us attack. Oh, God. Zilla. <laughs> little Zillas. You got some little Zillas going on. Oh, little baby Zillas all over. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna start chucking beans. I'll do it. I'll start. Come on, people, give them hell. I don't know what's coming next. 
Did we get all those Zillas? I swear to God, if one of those Zillas got away... Fuck. Did one of these bastards run away? We had one job. What? He got away. Hope you're all real happy. Yo, Zilly! Wait, we... Stop. Thank you, Axeman. Can't see. Can't see. You guys kill him. All arms, you stay here. Did you guys kill him yet? It's one fucking gecko! Just fucking rip his throat out! We are nice. you wanna die? Joshua. Oh, God. Oh, he's coming close. That's how we do things in the U.S. Army. Yeah, we shoot lizards in the U.S. Army. Explore the rest of the cave. Joshua Graham. Getting spooky in here. I'm getting a little spookified. Hi there. I'm X-Man, and I like eating cupcakes. All right, thanks, X-Man. I'm X-Man. Yeah, we know. X-Man? Yes, X-Man. I'm taking all this. <laughs> Ooh, baby, you sat away. All the way. Mysterious bunker door to even more mysterious bunker. <laughs> Investigate the bunker. Hello? Oh! Oh! Behold, the great condor, X-Man. Mm. Condor, like the bird? Condor is the king of all horses. Oh my god. This is... No, wait, no. A condor is a bird. A raptor. No, I don't know what that is. X-Man. I don't know what that is. X-Man. X-Man has a penis on his shoulder. Look, I don't know what a great condor is, but it's definitely not that horse in that force field. I don't believe you. Condor is a horse. <sighs> X-Man, I... X-Man, the horse isn't a condor, it's a horse. Take down the force field and prove it. You'll see. You'll all see. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba boom Ha, 1995. Ugh. See? It's just a horse. Oh, it's a tiny... The Great Condor has chosen you, I think. Chosen you? Chosen me? You should totally touch it. It definitely won't kill you. Probably. Maybe. X-Man. I mean, it's sparkling. Now it's not sparkling. The Great Condor has blessed you with a perk. Neat. <laughs> Perk did he give me? Shall we? Condor, where is your god now? Let's see what perk we got. Which one did we get? The Great Condor. Being the host of the Great Condor has imbued you with great power. You receive plus one to all of your special skills. Well, hot diggity dog. Condor, the Great One. Can I drop my Condor? Probably not. Wanna hold? Condor. You cannot remove Condor. Condor is stuck to your body. Mm, Condor. Well, I can live with that. Sorry, Gecko Jesus. Looks like you failed. You failed hard. Right on your face.
there anything back here? Nope. Ooh, the sky. That's pretty beautiful. All right, everyone. That has been... Where, where is he? That has been... Come on. Get over here. That has been Axeman by Jero Key Master. It was fantastic. I had a blast with this. I love the story, and I love I love this jacket. This is fantastic. Looks like Axeman may be uh, maybe staying with us for a little bit. I don't know. It looks like we're gonna see what exactly is gonna be going on, and you know, I mean, things are gonna be going on, and everything's gonna be happening. So. I don't know, Axeman will come along and sometimes, and then other times he won't come along. You know, it'll, it'll be a, a good mix of back and forth, just kind of what's going on. And uh, I know a bunch of you asked, you said, where the hell is that god dang Sergeant Buttfist? And well, of course he's in here, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he be? He, he's just been resting up. Where are you? Well, you been having good with Doc Mitchell? You been having good with Doc Mitchell? Oh, yes, you have. Yes, you have. Oh, you baby. Oh, you baby. You have a good fucker. You have a You need your hammer. There we go, you little baby. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, there you go. Get Go straight through the walls. Set of armor for my Cazador. Ooh. All right, everyone. So, next week, Sergeant Buttfist will be here, and Sergeant Buttfist will have his brand new armor. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Captain Barnes. I mean, not Captain Barnes, maybe, uh, x Man will be there, too. Looks like it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Sergeant Buttfist, you gotta stop pushing. Stop pushing! Okay, great. This is, this is where we put the mods. See? So professional. This mod doesn't work. No, wait. This mod doesn't work. I tried it. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I shall see you in the X-Man future. Away. Hey, Doc Mitchell, how about you go fuck yourself? Whoops. Uh-oh.